Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Casey back again with another exciting video. I'm going to give you five pretty simple steps to play beautiful worship chords, worship nuances. So if you're an absolute beginner or an advanced musician, trust me, I'm going to take you each step of the way. So since we're going to be in the key of C, I want to set the atmosphere for worship. And what I like to do is I like to use my lush pad and which is a sound and I'm going to play C and G at the same time and I'm going to include this pad just in case you don't have this sound I'm going to include this in the free download for you guys so you'll be able to download this as well as the chords that we're going to go through so step one what we want to do is we want to create a pulse and I know you're probably thinking what is a pulse a pulse is like a rhythm a beat and this is going to connect you to the congregation to create that beautiful worship atmosphere. And if you're an absolute beginner, these are three notes. And if you want to get creative for my advanced musicians, you can, you can rotate that G to a A. And what we're going to do is step two, we're going to add some chords. So we have a C major chord here. And then we can go to a G major chord. simple man but I'm telling you there is power in simplicity I promise you less is more when it comes to worship we want to take this up a notch we want to create a flow right with this left hand so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play what they call an arpeggio so what we're going to do is we'll do something like this now that's a substitution for this basic C chord so this arpeggio goes like this. So what I'm doing is a C, G, C, D, E, just like this. We can go to G. We can go to F. Now I'll just keep this simple here with my right hand. I'll just do those three notes. But I was just showing you for my advanced musicians, you can create different types of pulses. And those of you who have purchased the Expand series, you know we have. You can even start on G. All right. We can create a melody, so that way we're not keeping this pulse going. We can do something very simple like this. Watch this. Now that sounds super basic, but what we want to do is we want to add thirds. So a third above this is an E. And this sounds basic too, and I'm going to give you a tool that I like to use. I like to move the third down below. So we, all we did was the same movement here. We're going to move this down here. So. Beautiful. And watch this. Now, I'm just making up something. So I'm just, just whatever you want to do. Again, this is part of like the Play Like You series <laughs> that we have where I go in depth about this, but So those are major arpeggios, looks exactly the same in G and exactly the same in F. Now we can go minor by starting with A and it'll look the exact same. Go to D. Let's go to major F. Back to C. G. Go to A. Go to 
D. Go to four in the key of C, which is F. I'm telling you, man, I mean, this, there is so much power in simplicity. And you can see, man, we're creating random melody lines and we're also creating beautiful I would like to call it a flow. We're creating a flow by playing arpeggios with our left hand. And as you can see, there are different scale degrees um, that we're using. And I'll go into much more detail uh, on the website in our jumpstart plan. So anyway, we want to take this melody line. We want to go a step further, step five. We want to create a journey. So watch this. And what I can do is I can do a little create a simple pulse like this. Look at this. That's a G, C, G. Now watch this. C with the left hand. I'll do it again. Watch this. Woo! Mm. That's an A flat. And again, I'll slow this down for you guys. E flat. to B flat. So as you can see, I'm creating a journey outside of the key of C. <laughs> Again, there is a lot of theory that goes into this, um, but I want to make sure my absolute beginners are able to follow along every step of the way in this video. So I'm going to keep it really, really light. What I did was I did that same movement in C. And then I did that same movement in the key of A flat. So that's an A flat, E flat, A flat, B flat, C. And it fits well with, still fits well in the key of C. And again, there's a lot of theory that goes into this, which I break down in our Jumpstart series. I think I call that um, All Keys Matter series. But uh, anyway, so this is A flat. Then we can go to E flat. That's a E flat, B flat, E flat, F, G. Watch this, let's go to B flat. We can even, watch this. Now that's the key of C sharp, C sharp, A flat, C sharp, E flat, F. Now, I wouldn't hold that too long because that's telling me that I wanna go to the one. So let's play around with this. notes. In this video, I wanted to give you something that you can use to really set the atmosphere, to create a beautiful atmosphere for worship, so that, watch this, you don't wanna be a distraction when you're setting the tone in worship. You wanna be a person that you're, it's, it's less of me, more of him. You've heard that saying before, less of me, more of God. And so you wanna create some very simple moves or very, really scale down your chords <laughs> so that you're truly playing pretty simple music and because you really want to I, I use this term exalt God so that he can flow through you and I'm not saying he can't flow through you by playing a whole bunch of different chords and complex nuances and things like that 
but ultimately you don't want to be seen or heard. You want to just create a beautiful atmosphere by playing less but being as powerful as you can as a musician. And I don't want to come off preachy here, but the purpose of you as a musician when it comes to you playing worship chords is not so that people can say, wow, it's so that they can hear the power that's flowing through you and allowing God to flow through you. So again, you all know I love you so much. I never like to close out any video without letting you know that today is a new day, a new life, and a new opportunity for you to become a better you. I love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel. We'll be here same time, same place, which is Monday. And uh, I'll even put a video up here you can check out. Uh, but again, I love you so much and I'll see you soon.